Butterflies are winged flowers of brilliant colors and graceful movements. They are found everywhere on Earth, from the chilly hillsides of the Arctic to the humid warmth of the rainforests. These dancing, fluttering beings are among the most enchanting of all the Earth's creatures. Butterflies are insects. They taste with their feet, and most species only live for a few short weeks. But during their brief lives, butterflies not only splash our world with color, they also tell us something about the health of our planet. Butterflies spend their entire lives dancing from flower to flower, sipping sweet nectar, and most never venture very far from where they were hatched. The Butterfly Hummingbird Garden at the Detroit Zoo is a place where you can explore this fascinating world. Hidden in the foliage is the first stage of life, the egg. Eggs come in all shapes and sizes and are laid in groups or singly near their food source called a host plant. The host plant is carefully chosen by the female butterfly. When the eggs hatch into larvae, called caterpillars, they become eating machines and they're very particular about what they eat. After a month of eating, the caterpillar must find a suitable host plant for the next stage of life. Attaching itself by a thin, delicate thread, the skin splits and the caterpillar begins twisting and wriggling back and forth to shed its skin. The old skin falls away, leaving a sticky outer surface which hardens into a protective shell called a chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, very complex things are taking place as the caterpillar is changing into a butterfly. This is called metamorphosis. In as little as 10 days, the metamorphosis is complete. Using its legs, the newly formed butterfly begins to emerge. Once fully out, its small soft wings are dried and pumped to their full size. Butterflies do not grow. The little ones stay little and the big ones stay big. While caterpillars are eating machines that can be harmful to plants, butterflies are not. They have no teeth and they don't bite or chew. They use their long, hollow tongue like a straw to drink the nectar of flowers and fruit. Butterflies have some of the most intricate patterns found in nature. Their wings are covered with more than a million tiny overlapping scales of intense colors. Part of the reason for such brilliant displays is for protection from predators such as birds. Many brilliantly colored butterflies are loaded with poisons that will make a bird very sick. This is true of the striped monarch butterflies found right in our own backyards. Monarchs feed on milkweed plants which make them taste terrible to their enemies. Distinctive markings and vibrant colors are another of nature's warnings to stay away. Not all birds eat butterflies. Hummingbirds never do. These are the tiniest birds in the world and not much bigger than many butterflies. If you hold a dime in your hand, you are holding more weight than a hummingbird. They live as far north as Alaska and as far south as the tip of South America. These tiny darting helicopters are fascinating to watch. Unlike other birds that can only fly forward, hummingbirds can fly up down, right, left, backwards, and even upside down. Or they can hover motionless as they feed. Butterflies and hummingbirds share the same food source, nectar. And like the butterfly, the hummingbird uses its long, slim bill to reach deep into the center of flowers to get at the sweet liquid, consuming half their body weight of nectar every day.
They drink from many flowers, but they prefer red ones. They also need to drink water, which they can get from wet leaves. The next time you water your garden, a hummingbird may be watching you, waiting to bathe or drink from the pools of water you leave behind. These gentle fluttering creatures also help to pollinate the plants on which they feed. Reproduction and survival of plant life depends on the tiny bits of pollen that are carried from flower to flower by insects and birds. These amazing birds flap their wings 200 times a second and can fly 30 miles an hour. If you're lucky enough to observe a hummingbird, it will be in the spring or summer because their tiny little bodies can't survive the cold. As soon as there's a chill in the air, they migrate, flying thousands of miles to the warmth of Mexico. They make this long migratory journey alone, without the companionship or protection of a flock. And just like the hummingbirds, this backyard visitor will migrate when it turns cold. Although most butterflies don't migrate, flocks of monarchs fly thousands of miles deep into the warm mountain rainforests of Mexico and Central America to lay their eggs. Butterflies are tiny insects that give us big messages about the health of our environment. Because they feed on plant life, they are monitors of the well-being of a habitat. Butterfly populations are declining every year, and the biggest threat to them, like all wildlife, is the destruction of their habitats. Rainforest habitats are a celebration of the diversity of all living things. More species of plants and animals, including butterflies, live in the rainforests than any other place on Earth. Butterfly farms have been established to protect our dwindling rainforests. In Central and South America, farmers are turning abandoned plots of ground into farms that grow host plants to attract wild butterflies. The butterflies then lay their eggs, caterpillars feed on the plants and spin their cocoons, and the cycle continues. Most of the newly emerged butterflies return to the jungle to begin the life cycle all over again. Some are sent to zoos, like the Detroit Zoo, which have their own butterfly conservation programs. These efforts ensure that rainforest habitats are being preserved, and with them, the animals that live there. All across America, people are assisting these beautiful winged creatures by establishing habitats in their own backyards. Planting flowers like trumpet vine and zinnia, or even the common milkweed plant, will provide the necessary life support for butterflies and hummingbirds to flourish. The Butterfly Hummingbird Garden at the Detroit Zoo is more than just a meadow taking wing. It is part of an international effort to protect what has not already been destroyed. It is a sanctuary for man and animal alike, a magnificent celebration of all creatures, great and small.